everyone. For those that don't know me, I'm Judy Van Coyman, founder and president of Those Who Can, for those in need. And I would like to welcome you all to our fourth annual Uplift Yourself with Laughter fundraiser event. And thank you for coming out and supporting this 5013C nonprofit. I greatly appreciate it. And some of you know why I started this organization. And for those who don't, feel free to visit our website at www.twctin.org. The monies raised tonight will go towards our life issues, those who can, for those in need, resource, volunteer fair in September. The organizations that join us are from the greater Boston North Shore area, and the categories cover a well, wide range of life issues. The volunteer part comes in where a lot of these organizations are always looking for volunteers. Some of the organizations that are with us tonight are, I'd like to acknowledge, um, Ruth's Way for Women, Winthrop Public Library, CAPIC, CASA, Friends Helping Friends, uh, Harbor Cove, the Robert A. DeLeo Winthrop Senior Center, Winthrop Food Pantry, and of course, for kids only after school. Thank you all for helping those in need. As I end the end of my life of show, live each day to the fullest and celebrate life. Um, your eyes weren't deceiving you. You did see the Speaker of the House, Bob DeLeo, earlier, but as most of you know, sometimes he has other things booked on the same night, and he has an event in Boston to go to. So the Winthrop, um, the Robert A. DeLeo Winthrop Senior Center Director, Nancy Williams, is, has, um, is gonna take his place and um, say a few words and give a citation out. So. This is from Speaker DeLeo. Thank you. It's a citation from the House of Representatives. Be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Deborah Neal and Keegan in recognition of your being the recipient of Those Who Can Award. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors given this 22nd day of April at the State House, Boston, Massachusetts, and it's signed by Robert A. DeLeo, Speaker of the House. Very nice, thank you. She does such a wonderful job with all, you know, a lot of times when I, you know, my sister has a daycare and, and I go in there and I see all the kids and I'm there for maybe a half hour and say, oh my gosh, these kids move too quickly for me. I'm used to people who move a lot slower, you know. <laughs> um, you know, really, you do such a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce a, a, a young man who's coming right up in the ranks, um, Senator Joe Boncori. Thank you, Nancy, and uh, thank you all for being here tonight. I want to thank uh, Judy uh, Van Kuhn very much uh, and the rest of the board at uh, Those Who Can for Those in Need, um, because what you do is so important. Uh, not only in our community, but throughout our Commonwealth, helping those disadvantaged, helping those suffering from domestic violence abuse, helping the homeless, helping our veterans. You know, it's really remarkable work you do each and every day. And really, we're all doing tonight by coming here and supporting. You know, someone a lot smarter than me a long time, time ago said, you can really judge a society by how they treat their most vulnerable citizens. And really, that's what Judy and her board does each and every day is they treat the most vulnerable citizens in our society and give them a fighting chance. So uh, on behalf of the Commonwealth, I want to thank you and your board for all the great work you do. Thank you very much, Judy. And you know, the, it doesn't just end here. Judy does the Resource Center. And, but tonight we're here um, in, in true fashion of what this board and what those who can for those in, in need do is supporting others in the community who shine just as bright. And um, that person tonight is a good, dear friend of mine and my family's for my entire life, I, should, I can say. Um, and for 32 years of the 34 years I've been alive, uh, Deborah uh, Neil and Keegan uh, has doing, been doing incredible work uh, with four kids only. And, you know, I've seen so many of my own friends and people and ch children in the town of Winthrop uh, grow up 
in and around four kids only and seeing how, what a chance it's giving them and educating the whole child um, after school, before school, and throughout the summers. Um, that program's expanded to several cities and towns now throughout the Commonwealth. Uh, it touches the lives of thousands of families in and around um, this area, and it's incredible work. Uh, last summer, I was lucky enough to be invited to the opening of um, her newest um, uh, in Revere. It's, uh, what, what's the name of it? Youth in Motion. If you've ever seen this facility, it's amazing. But it's not, the facility's not as amazing as the people in it. And I was in there and watching the children get along and, and all the interactive STEM programs and things they're working with. Uh, and Deb pulled me aside and said, you know, you see that child over there? Uh, that child from Malden, family's in a homeless shelter. Um, that child over there, their family's in a, in a motel. And really, it's because of Deborah Dale and Keegan and her staff that children like that uh, are able to go and enjoy these programs like their peers uh, for nothing. So it's incredible the amount of children she's helping. Uh, but what's even better is how she's funding all of this. And I don't really know how you do it, uh, but it's really incredible work. So tonight we celebrate you uh, and your husband, Larry. So if you could both join me uh, at, the, at the microphone. <laughs> we, know it's a, we know it's a team effort, right? So, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Deborah and Larry, on behalf of um, the Commonwealth of uh, Massachusetts, this is an official citation from the State Senate. Be it hereby known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Deborah Nail and Keegan and Larry Keegan in recognition of the 2017 Those Who Can Award and for supporting the needs of children and families throughout the academic, recreational, and giving them social opportunities. And be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends its very best wishes for continued success. And that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate, attested to, and a copy therefore transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. It's signed by our St uh, Commonwealth Senate President Stanley C. Ro Rosenberg and offered by myself, your State Senator Joseph Foncori. <laughs> Now, last but not least, the, I have our award to give, to present. Those Who Can Award, presented to Deborah Nealon Keegan, Executive Director of For Kids Only After School. In grateful recognition of your humble and dedicated service to those in need. April 22nd, 2017. I've known Debbie since, for probably close to 30 years when I first moved to Winthrop. Um, I vis visited her office when I was um, selling drug sales. Um, it was called Big Yellow Box in, with Crayola. And so trying to make connections and stuff. But uh, her whole family is so awesome that are Winthropites and have been Winthrop all your lives, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what she does for not just Winthrop, but you know, around and stuff, it's awesome. She's gonna be inter introducing some awesome kids too in a little bit, but I'm gonna turn over the mic to Debbie so she can tell you a little bit about FKO. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's an emotional time for me, um, being amongst so many of you that give your lives for kids and families and I feel very humbled to be with all of you and I thank you for giving me this award but those kids over there are my reason to get up every morning as well as 1,500 other kids that we serve every day. Um, they are what gives me my heart um, and my drive um, to go to work. So thank you um, and if you could just allow me to read a little bit, um, I would appreciate it. There are people who come into our lives so that we can understand how to practice kindness, gratitude, and compassion. The sediment tonight is clearly felt by all of you in this room by giving your time on a Saturday night to share your love so that others can have the joys and privilege that you do. You took your personal time and your monetary resources this evening to help Judy's charity help others by being here. You partnered with her so that she can achieve her mission to give all people equal opportunity to be happy, healthy, and well. In any profession that helps the nurturing of young children and people, there is no such thing as other people's children. There is no such thing as economic, gender, 
or racial division. At For Kids Only, we believe that it is our job to give every child equal opportunity, treatment, and care. If we are doing our job as we profess to, we do not judge, criticize, or set apart any child from another. So let me tell you a little bit about FKO. It was in 1984 that my sister Connie and I co-founded this public charity in an attempt to support the needs of working families seeking to find a safe place for children to be cared for during their after school hours. My sister was a public school teacher and I was a parent with a young child and I had to go to work. So we started in the basement of the American Legion Hall in Winthrop. And less than a year later, we were offered space at St. John's the Evangelist Church by Pastor Morgan. He had a keen sense of supporting families and children. And when others questioned his motives for those kids, people like Father Morgan and later our principal, Mr. Cummings, people like Mr. Gorman, Mrs. Noyles, Father Don Milligan, Donna Riley, Joe Clark, Ron Vecchia, Mary Lou Osborne, Bob DeLeo, stepped outside of their comfort zone, often voting not the popular vote, but they stepped up to help those kids that didn't have a place necessarily to go because they didn't have the financial means. We now have a reputation at For Kids Only that we accept all children, not just the privileged few. And we do our very best to make sure our children all feel special and that they are worth gold. In after school, we're lucky because we don't have to give kids grades. All we have to do is fill their cups up with love. So it's easy for us. Every child walks in our door every day, whether they had a bad day at school or a good day at school, they are on the top of their game when they walk in. There is no mistakes. They are applauded and they are felt worthy. So what is in the good that we find with all of this? We help children feel like they fit in and belong, like the child that's living today at the Malden Town Line shelter who gets on the bus every day to attend school and after school and then hops in the van to share a one-room home with three siblings and her mother. We help the young boy who's being raised by his grandparents while his mother helps herself get treatment for an addiction that has consumed her too many times. We help the young child who is struggling in her skin being born as a boy and now discovering she's a girl and she needs a place to feel loved and accepted. The child whose parents simply cannot afford the bills without working double shifts. And the child who suffers from the stresses of poverty, violence, and loneliness, who cannot pass that test in school because life got in the way. I spent the last few days in Washington with over 500 educators, health care practitioners, researchers, psychologists, and political leaders from across the United States at the Mindful Life Summit. I actually arrived back an hour ago. Why mindfulness? And what is it? What is mindfulness, you may ask? Well, it's a number of people right now who are leaving a movement of kindness, compassion, and empathy. We believe that if we're going to have real peace in our world, we must step up our game as adults and open our hearts by giving. We must change the way we behave, the way we treat one another, and talk about each other. We need to be living example by showing up, not just dressing up for the occasion. To quote Mother Teresa, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. She also said, if you cannot feed 100 people, then feed just one. It's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. On behalf of my team, we are so grateful to call you friends and that you believe in what we do at For Kids Only. We know that it is after school where we have the opportunity to end racism, bigotry, and hate, and open doors that were closed and find new pathways that have not been paved. I hope you leave tonight feeling fulfilled and that your cups are overflowing and you should pat yourselves on the back for being here. I know your gift of giving will be returned to you in ways you probably already feel. Let go of anger, hate, and negativity. Instead, let's spread love, kindness, and positivity. Each time you see a child, smile. And then show that child how to love others through your actions. 
Right now in this country, we have a lot of work to do. But we can do it because we have the cap capability if we each do a small part. We are community. I thank you so much for giving me this honor tonight. Thank you.